So using the MTM SGS 35 gun from Carscope and we also have the Dirt Blaster from SGCB UK. This is the MJJC Foam Lance with 100mm uh, of waxed away snow foam to 900mm of water. Leave that to dwell for around 10 minutes, get your brushes out, get scrubbing away. We're not going to focus too much on this part of the video, we're going to get straight into the wheels off. And here's the inspection, chapter 2. You can see the amount of fallout build up that's in there. This could be a fun one, guys. Stay tuned. So we've got some cracking music for you to enjoy this episode of Wheels Off Deep Clean. As we know, Wheels Off Deep Clean isn't the most exciting episode, but a little bit of music will go a long way. So interestingly enough, I'm not using a pressure washer, I'm going to use a garden hose. Just going to show you how well the products do actually work. So we've got an IK9 foam sprayer and we've got one to three bilberry. And we're topping that with a little bit of Cartec acid free wheel cleaner at a ratio of one to one. So working two wheels at a time keeps that efficiency high and also allows for dwell times. While you're working on one wheel, you can work on the other, and that allows the products to get some extra bite. And also protect those backs, people. We're using the Poker Premium Wheel Stand from Clean and Shiny, and also that is mounted on top of a B&Q hopper. You've got to protect those backs, people, when you're working outside and working on these kind of jobs. Your back's so important, so work ergonomically all the time. Be safe, guys. And while we're on the topic of safety, we have the seal skin gloves from Cartec. Use code OIOI25 and get yourself a great discount. Chapter 4 Contact Wash. So this is the Auto Glim Alloy Wheel Brush. This is a fantastic brush, it's very extremely durable, chemical resistant and has a nice beveled edge to get into all those textured areas behind the spokes. Going in for a third hit, why not? The brush you can see me using now is the Easy Detail Arch Cleaning Brush. Much, much easier to use when you're doing a Wheels of Deep Clean. Now this is the Wax and Away brush. This is a chemical resistant brush. There's going to be more of this coming out in 2022. This brush is also available to buy on the Johnny Shield Detailing Facebook shop. Head over there, give us a cheeky like if you haven't already. As you're starting to tell, there's not one brush for the job. You need a multiple brushes to do wheels off deep cleans.
So I'd recommend having at least five to ten brushes in your arsenal if you're a detailer of Alita. It helps when you're on jobs as there's no two alloy wheels that are the same. That's also why I take the wheels off so I can have better access to the back of the wheels, back of the spokes and those little gullies that trap all the dirt. As you see there's a lot of tar and glue, we've also got a lot of stickers to remove later on in the video. Stay tuned for that one, there's a top tip coming. Viewers, please hit that thumbs up and that subscribe button. It goes a long way to helping a brand new channel like myself. Chapter 5, Tire Cleaning. You can use an APC or you can use your wheel cleaner. This is a pad brush from Chemical Guys. It's very good for tyres. I've also just purchased the SGCV UK. So I'll be giving that one a review up very soon on the channel. Iron Fallout. What is Iron Fallout? Well, Iron Fallout is a chemical that's corrosive that removes all the iron particles that are embedded. And that was what you saw at the beginning of the video, the orange stuff that's attached to the wheel comes off your brake discs. So the Fallout remover of choice is by Wax and Away. It's called Purple Venom. That is also available to buy on the Johnny Shield Detailing Facebook shop. One thing to know when you're using a fallout remover, you'll see it go purple. That is it activating, that is it working, that's it's corroding. Corroding away the iron particles that are embedded into the clear coat. As you can see, this brush is extremely chemically resistant. Go and check it out, Paul Dolden loves this brush. Handy Kirkland towel, very useful. Now, it wouldn't be detailing without doing the back of the tyres. Should have gone a whole hog and done the tread as well. The dwell times for iron fallout is around five to ten minutes, depending on the temperature. One thing is to be sure, don't use chemicals in direct sunlight. They don't like it. Well, thank me for it later. Seven, tar and glue removal. As we saw, this is where the little cheeky top tip comes in. 
There was tar, there was glue, there was sticky pads from the wheel weights when the tires had been changed. And here's a product that isn't from Wax and Away. It's BD Clean Tar and Glue Remover. I'm going to give you a little top tip here. Using makeup pads soaked in tar and glue, loosen and soften the adhesive away from the alloy, which makes removal much more efficient. As always, solvents evaporate very quickly and it's always best to dry off the wheel first before applying any tar and glue. I'd like to reiterate, please don't use solvents or any chemicals in direct light or any sunlight. And also be aware of the temperatures around you when it comes to the summer months. These products can have an adverse effect on your clear coat. So here's another little top tip, using a plastic razor blade to remove the adhesive after soaking. Use the angle at around 35 degrees, that is very safe to use. Don't go in at 90 and start digging away at the clear coat. No one wants to see that. Very, very light pressure. You're just trying to ease that away. Because these alloy wheels aren't in that good condition anyway, this is very safe to do, especially on lighter colored alloys. But I recommend on brand new wheels, which probably won't have this kind of level of glue and tar all over them. Um, just stick to using the cotton pads to remove it safely. The last thing you want to do in detailing is create more work for yourself and having to chase your tail. Whenever I'm ceramic coating wheels, I will always go through and polish the wheels to bring back the uh, clarity of the wheels. But in this instant, the wheels were too far gone. So there was no point in polishing and she hadn't booked in for a ceramic coating. She just wanted her wheels cleaned properly. go-to product for clients when I'm doing the wheels off deep clean if they don't want to opt in for a ceramic coating or if I feel like when they're in this wheels condition there's no point then it's a ceramic detailer by waxing away it has a six months durability it can be used as a wet coat or dry Number eight, post decontamination wash. We've got to wash away those chemicals. We've got to make sure they don't lay on the, on the clear coat for too long, otherwise we'll end up causing even more damage. One thing to note is once you've finished washing these and they're ready for coating, make sure you do an IPA wipe down. This will allow the surface to be clean of all grease and contaminants. And that will prolong the length of your coating. If you're ceramic coating, machine polishing is re highly recommended. Let me know down in the comments section, guys. What is the worst set of wheels you've ever washed or had to deep clean? Let me know down in the comments section. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button.
just goes to show you don't need to use a pressure washer to wash your wheels. It's incredible how functional these products are these days. So we're coming to the end of the video, guys. I'll follow up with a conclusion in a second. But well, I'm using a Makita impact driver. Makes life a lot easier. Once this is done, you can go around and use a torque wrench to just check the torque settings. It's highly advised to follow the manufacturer's instructions. Lucky I finished when I did, the rain started to come down. So we're coming to the end of the video and you can let me know what you think of this style of video, guys. Did you like the music? Did you not like the music? You let me know. I'm always learning as I do. This is only my second episode of editing on Adobe. So let's get into the products and what we use today. So we use the Bilberry, we use the CarTech, easy detail brushes, we use the Poker Premium Wheel Stand on the Hopper. Lots of tips, lots of tricks. We also have products from BD Clean and Wax It Away. We've got the Wax It Away brushes. All those links will be down in the description. Those wheels were absolutely hammered. There was not much more I could do apart from get them clean. Wheels like that, if you're in a situation and you're a detailer, always speak to the customer first. You can't perform miracles. So always work with the client, work with their budget. There was no point in ceramic coating those wheels whatsoever. Just a spray sealant, just to get them by until if they decide to have, a, have any sort of refurb, it's gonna be helpful. What I will say is, like I said in the video, is if you're doing this as a maintenance wash and you've got black wheels or satin wheels, something that's got a really refined finish, some of these processes in the video aren't suitable. You have to go through a lot more safer methods and that is rinsing, using products, making sure you remove all the dirt before you go into contact washes. I would stay away from using the razor blade as well. That's only a good, a good uh, system to use on silver, white wheels, light colored wheels, so you don't see any, any sort of marring from, the, from using a razor. But they are safe to use in the right environments, in the right hands, guys. So there are a few top tips in there if that helps you. But like anything you do, don't rush processes, do them all safely, because as a detailer's mindset is, it's to preserve the paint, the clear coat, the vehicle at all times. So thanks a lot for watching to the end of this video. Hit that thumbs up button, smash that subscribe button. There's a lot of you guys who aren't doing it yet. So listen, I'm watching. I know, I know who it is. So listen, that was episode one. We've got episode two coming up very soon, which is the decontamination wash. And we've got episode three, which is going to be the minor correction, which is going to be the finale. That is an absolute banger. There's some cracking 50-50s in that one. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you soon. Thanks again. Oi, oi, YouTube.